Hey there, boys and girls. I hope you had a fabulous weekend and you're ready to get this week rolling. By the way, before I start, if you did not see the field trip announcement coming up next week, I put it as an announcement today. And then, um, so make sure that your parents saw that announcement, okay? Very, very, very important information in there. If you guys are able to go, there is a special field trip form that I need mommies to fill out for me and submit to me this week. So um, if there's any questions, have mom give me a call. Okay, so this week I want to tell you that um, we're going to be making a little science connection to oceans and waterways. And oceans and waterways are very important in many ways. People use them for traveling and transporting things by boat. We enjoy swimming and playing in the water found in the waterways. And also, many animals live in and near the water. So, you will be learning about oceans and waterways in your reading this week, okay? The things I read to you, the things that you read on your own. I want to tell you that this particular story is fiction. And remember that fiction is a story that's made up. And this story takes place on a waterway, okay? But even though it's made up, the story does tell about some animals that live on and near the water. So be on the lookout for some funny characters, all right? And another thing I want to talk to you about before we begin reading is that I want you to remember that good readers read with expression, okay? There's a lot of dialogue in this story, which means that a lot of characters are talking, and I want you to hear how I change my voice sometimes. And when you read, if you read the words with feeling, then it kind of gets you into the story, almost as if you're one of the characters. And when you read out loud to other people, it makes it a lot more interesting, I think, okay? Also pay attention to when you see question marks or exclamation points at the end of sentences. As you're reading and you see those punctuation marks coming up, make sure that you're reading with that kind of feeling also, all right? Well, this particular story is about the adventure of a girl and her dog in a canoe, all right? And one other quick thing before we get started, I think I keep saying that, I'm sorry, but take a look down here at the bottom. I would like for you to tell someone that may be sitting there with you which one of those names is the author. We have Mary Casanova and we have Ard Hoyt. And I want you to look at the words around them and see if you can figure out which one's the author and which one's the illustrator. If you need to pause my video, feel free to do that. Otherwise, just please point to them or tell your someone beside you which one is which. Okay, if you said Mary Casanova is the author, you are correct because it says by Mary Casanova. If you said the illustrator is Ard Hoyt, you would be correct because it says pictures by Ard Hoyt. Okay, so great job if you did that. All right, let's get into this story. You will have a couple of assignments that go along with this story. So be ready for that. So make sure that you are listening very, very closely. All right, here we go. One Dog Canoe. There's our title page, One Dog Canoe. I set off one morning in my little red canoe. My dog wagged his tail. Can I come too? You bet, I said. A trip for two, just me and you. I dipped my paddle into ribbons of blue. Beaver stopped chewing. Can I come too? There's not much room. It's a one dog canoe. But with a slap and a swim, Beaver scrambled in. I swished past ferns where dragonflies flew. Loon stretched her wings. Can I come too? I doubt you'll fit. It's a one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a woohoo flap, Loon landed on my lap. I want to stop for a second here because if you did not know what a loon was, okay, and maybe a lot of people don't, then you could kind of guess or make an inference that a loon is this bird that we're seeing on these pages, okay? She stretched her wings. You see this new character coming in, and it says, but with a woohoo flap, loon landed on my lap, and what animal is on the, on the girl's lap? but that bird, okay? So that way we can figure out what that unknown word actually means. I also hope that you're hearing a lot of the rhyming 
in the story. A lot of authors will do that to make it sound really catchy and kind of like you're carrying a little tune as you're reading. Silently, we glided under silver webs of dew. Wolf peered from the pines. Can I come too? Maybe next time. It's a one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But like an arrow on the wind, Wolf bounded in. Still, I paddled on in my little red canoe. Bear slid down a tree. Can I come too? We're pretty darn full. It's a one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a grunt, thump, kawump, Bear dropped on his rump. Look at all their faces. <laughs> I J-stroked and C-stroked. What else could I do? Moose lifted his head. Can I come too? You'll do us all in. It's a one bear, one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a toss of his rack, Moose climbed in the back. Look at all the characters' faces. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see what happens next. <gasps> I can't believe that the boat has not gone to the bottom of this lake yet. My goodness. We teetered and tottered. I glared at my crew. Frog hopped to a rock. Can I come too? Frog, can't you see? It's a one mouse, one bear, one wolf, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a leap. Look at all their faces. Plop. Swoosh a bang flop. We sputtered, splashed, swam. Drip dried on the sand. Sorry, Beaver said. We should have listened to you. Guess you were right. It is a one dog canoe. I started to grin. It's okay. We had a good swim. Then together we bailed till my vessel was dry. And with a push, a swoosh, glide, we waved goodbye. I set off that evening as the northern lights grew, just me and my pal in a one-dog canoe. Isn't that funny? I thought that was so cute. Could that any of that really happen in real life? Not really. Would you possibly see a girl and her dog in a canoe? Possibly. But would all those animals want to hop in and go for a ride? I don't think so. And they definitely wouldn't be talking to her, would they? All right, I hope that you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.